Hi, this is Becky from Icing on Top Becky's Cakes, and today we're going to use Russian piping tips. In our previous video, we did the basket weave and weave these uh, baskets on our cake. And here are the colors we're going to use. I use all American color that was sky blue, deep pink, and then we have lemon yellow and uh, royal purple and leaf green. And I like Maricola because it's nice and bright. And if you wanted to see the other uh, video on how we made these basket cakes, just check the last video I did. And here's a Russian piping tip. I have put it in a disposable bag. You cut a little hole in it and you pop the tip all the way through and you press till it's nice and snug. I'm gonna press down with my first flower. You're gonna hold and as you pull away, you're still applying pressure and release pressure and keep going. And that's the key, because if you just hold it in one spot, you're going to get just a blob. So you're going to hold, pull while you're still applying pressure and then release pressure and keep pulling. And also the other key is that you need nice stiff frosting. So if you don't have a very stiff buttercream frosting recipe, I will put my uh, recipe, a link to it in the description. And another key is whenever it gets all uh, coated with frosting like this, after you do one, just keep a paper towel on hand and wipe it clean. Because as long as you keep a clean tip, then it gives nice sharp petals each time you do it. I'm using a crumb coated cake because it gives the frosting something to stick to when I do that. And see this one, I didn't like how it turned out. So if you ever have uh, a flower that you don't like how you it turns out I just grab a knife and I scoop it right off and then you can just go right in its place. So when I scoop it I kind of twist it so I just get all that frosting off in one go. And that way um, you can just pipe right over the same spot. But yeah that fro a crumb coat really helps that frosting stick so that when you uh, pipe you can keep pulling. Because if you, if you try to pull away and the frosting comes with you well then that doesn't that doesn't do any good and you've ruined your flower. So I'm just gonna keep um, applying pressure, keep applying pressure as I pull out, and then keep pulling away after the after I've stopped applying pressure. So it depends on how long you want these. I like them about this high, otherwise they kind of fall over. I love how you can get a lot of coverage out of this in so little time and that's one of the great things about these Russian piping tips. after I do all my flowers I'm gonna get my leaf tip and I'm gonna fill in all around um, these flowers with leaves so it has good foliage. A few little leaves peeking out from different places in my basket. The Russian piping tips and I just absolutely love how uh, easy they are and uh, how full they can make a cake with not much effort at all. If you want to see how I did the basket part, please check out that video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.